Hello and welcome back and that's right today I want to talk about how to install Jellyfin on your Synology NAS really easily. Now for those of you that aren't aware Jellyfin much like MB much like Plex much like a bunch of other applications is one of the best ways that you can host your own multimedia server on your NAS where you hope put your stuff your TV shows your box sets your music your photos your what Ever and put them in a way where when you access them remotely whether you watch them on your TV your phones your whatever it's presented in a lovely way and that lovely smooth GUI you see on the likes of Prime, Hulu, Netflix, Disney Plus and more. Now let's face it Jellyfin is not new I would say it's been around pretty much in the consciousness longer than this channel as far as a lot of you are concerned but it's always had a small kind of slight caveat attached to it all this time and that is to do with the installation process which has always been a little bit more intimidating and a little bit more of a learning curve than any other media platform we've talked about on the channel and in today's video I want to talk to you about a much 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 easier way to do it that I've learned here but before we go any further I've got to accept that a lot of people don't know what jellyfish uh, jellyfin is and moreover they want a little bit more background about this so if you've only come to this video for the really easy way to install it fast forward and then you'll find that it should be linked in the description or a little on the timeline bar down there just skip ahead to that chapter for the nice easy way to install it but the rest of you here we go so um, unlike Plex where um, you can use Plex to host your own server and scrape all that metadata for all of the graphics and stuff Plex a lot of Plex's features are behind a subscription paywall whether a lifetime pass a monthly membership or an annual membership things like hardware transcoding which is the ability to use the NAS's own hardware to convert files on the client side stuff like that and a bunch of other features then you've got things like MB where it's mostly free but there's still paid things there jellyfin is the only one that is almost exclusively free with a few caveats insofar as you do need to pay for your hardware so up until this point it's never been like prohibited how you can install jellyfin on your nas so for example we've got this synology nas here on the right hand side all you got to do uh, up until this point and i say all you got to do because it's actually a little bit more detailed than that is go into docker which is um kind of uh, a container application so unlike a virtual machine it does like a little contained app that kind of lives in a nice floaty sandbox environment go into the registry go to the search and just type in the word jelly and then at the top you'll find a one that's got 848 uh, kind of uh, approvals there and then you can go ahead and install that container however installing containers is not that straightforward for many of us and although you can head over to jellyfin's own website where they detail exactly how to do it how to install it inside how you're going to create the container how you manage the container how you give the container access this can be quite intimidating for some users it's not that intimidating for people that have used containers before but it can be something of a difficulty for a lot of you out there who are very who don't want to you know climb up a big mounting of a learning curve and there's never been an official app but that's the key word isn't it official app because they're now if you head into the sino community tab and this is something we've talked about before if you go to the sino community website again sinocommunity.com then go to the bottom you can find that you can install their own package center now we've already done a video before about sino community but it's very apt here because what you need to do is head in and copy this link here at the bottom okay then go back into your Synology NAS from there open up let's move that back over there go into the app center now from the app center what you need to do next head up to the settings tab up here then go into package source from there click add from there give it a name in this case I'm going to go with Sino community then where you see location paste that link you got earlier on from the Sino community page then click OK and what this does is add a new app center to your Synology now bear in mind these are not officially supported apps these are not apps Synology themselves have allowed you to access on that app center they are made by third parties they are made by people in their spare time and although some of them are fantastic there's always going to be a slight element of can I trust this so make sure you know what you're doing right now by the fact that you are installing third-party homebrew apps but if you're okay with that 
click OK and then on the left hand side a new tab will appear called Community. Click that Community tab and a bunch of new applications and services have appeared. And if we go along we'll be able to find or we can scroll through it or we can just look there. There is Jellyfin right there. From here just either click Install or click Jellyfin. You can see information about updates on this application and then click install just like you would any other application on the Synology platform. Now, as you can see, it's going to install FFMPEG. This is a little bit like Handbrake. It's utilized for compression and um, basically the ease and transit and changing and conversion of multimedia. Go ahead and let that be installed. And then from there, it will now download the, both that add-on and the Jellyfin application. It will then install it just like any other app. And as you can see, Synology is warning you that you are using a third-party application and you're doing this at your own risk. Once again, as scary as this sounds, remember, you're kind of doing that already with the Docker if you wanted to put this app on. So just bear that in mind, knowing you are using an app that Synology themselves do not them like certify on their platform. Select the volume that you want it to communicate with. Bear in mind, you want to install it either on the fastest volume that's there. You can install it on the same volume as your multimedia, but I would just chuck it on a junker volume if you've got multiple. Then click Next. Then go ahead and click Done to complete that installation. And now you've installed Jellyfin on your Synology NAS there, but you're not quite there yet because there is one last thing you need to do, and that is... To give Jellyfin access to your multimedia. That is to say that although you've installed this app, Synology by default will not allow an app to instantly have access to all of your shared folders. Good news, right? For a security point of view, that's fantastic stuff. So what you want to be able to do is as soon as it's uh, downloaded, it will again warn you that you're using that package again. Uh, this is the follow-up application. That previous one was the MPEG blah 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 and as you can see it's now asking you to agree to the licensing agreement from Jellyfin click next again install that in the same volume and it's telling you that you have to go ahead and install those permissions something I'm going to show you in just a moment so as mentioned we need to now go in to uh, the Synology NAS and grant access to Jellyfin for that multimedia so as you can see the application is now running so what we can do is we can close this tab, that's absolutely fine. The next thing we need to do is head into the control panel. Now from the control panel, we need to go into shared folder because chances are your multimedia is living in an existing shared folder. Now if you don't know where your media is, go into file station and just find where your media lives. In my case, it's in multimedia and volume, uh, virtual images. I've put it there, but it'll be somewhere different for you. So. Wherever it is that you've put your multimedia, select that folder and that list of shared folders, then go to the top and click Edit. After you've clicked Edit, go over to the Permissions tab. From here, at the top left, select System Internal User. This is an application. From here, it will list all of the available applications that are currently running on your Synology NAS. Now, the next step you take will be different depending on you, the end user, because you do need to give both Jellyfin and technically FFMPEG access. So you can either choose to give it read-only access, which means these applications can see the information, it can read the information, and that's it. Or if you intend to create metadata, if you intend to create uh, lots of online images and sort of uh, works, uh, artworks for this media and you want it to be bound and downloaded to the same folders as the media for future reference, you're going to want to give it read and write access. So I am going to give it read and write access, but depending on the way you're going to use the multimedia software, that may be different for you. For now, click save. So now I've installed Jellyfin and I've given it access to my multimedia. So next thing we need to do is open Jellyfin. So the first, next thing you need to do is find Jellyfin. It will be down here on the bottom. Hopefully my image is in, isn't in the way as I run OBS here in the background. Go ahead and click Jellyfin. It will open in a new tab and it will ask you to go for the installation guide. Click next after selecting your language. 
from here give yourself a username this is what you're going to be accessing the device with when you're communicating with the uh, server with your client hardware devices again you can match it to your NAS credentials I wouldn't recommend it you want to give it its own unique credentials because if your uh, Jellyfin account got cracked the last thing you want is that same login to be accessible to your NAS I'm going with the my junker password and username but you do you then click next the next thing it's going to ask you to do is assign those libraries and this is why we gave Jellyfin access to our multimedia so we can go ahead and select our media libraries in this case I'm going to add movies then click the plus symbol then select where the multimedia lives on the NAS so in my case in volume one that is where I kept multimedia and virtual images I can go ahead select my Plex media and select where my movies live it's as simple as that so after that you want to go ahead and change some of the settings that apply to this so for example if you're going to be doing downloaded images again metadata subtitles trailers and more make sure that you select the correct language for your region so it can scrape the necessary and correct data based on where you are over after that you can change the presentation of these uh, this information when you want it to synchronize new metadata the libraries that you want to access for that information choose whether you want the system to create an NFO kind of a readme doc that is the uh, multimedia architecture and background and resource details of all the surrounding metadata for that file and all the associated information then if you have selected right access for this folder select save artwork to media folders and it will save that media artwork which can then be repurposed in other multimedia servers if you choose and after that go ahead at the bottom I'm sure my face is in the way here but go ahead right at the bottom and click OK after that it will add that movies tab and then you can repeat those steps with a multitude of different multimedia types now if we fast forward we can see here on a different NAS this DS923 I've already set up Jellyfin here for us to use and as you can see I've already created all of the individual files and folders and albums that I want to use I've created a folder for those 4k trailers that we use I've created another album here for my photos and media and again lots of these things are included within Jellyfin now now we've got a much easier way to install Jellyfin on service here with this add-on package. We're going to be retesting a number of different NASes for the channel as we find out more about what this software is capable of and of course how it compares with the likes of Plex Media Server and MB, the other two big multimedia um, uh, the media servers that we talk about here on the platform. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully there'll be a written guide below over on NAS Compares which should be linked below and show you exactly how to do this in a much easier step-by-step -step basis. There'll be links both to the Sino community here where you can find out more about those applications and how to install Jellyfin the app and of course a link to the official guide on Jellyfin on how to install this if you want to go the registry route because this can be a more power efficient and system hardware efficient way to run Jellyfin. But thank you so much for watching. Click like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to learn more, and otherwise I will see you next time.